baseball fans, and welcome. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Boston Red Sox. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. The first half of the All-Star break is behind us, and partner, it's go time in the second half. And if you want to be playing meaningful games at the end of September, you got to put your head down and grind for the next eight weeks. All right, we'll be back to get this one started. At Just about ready to go and towing the slab, Chris Sale. And Singy, that may be his name, but the strikeout is his game. Well, Boog, I can tell you've been working on that one, but yes, you are right. This guy's strikeout per nine, over 11. I mean, that's just getting it done. There are a lot of strikeouts in that other lineup, and when you look at what he's able to do, man, it's going to be a fun one to watch today. Mookie Betts will get us started. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Misses inside, and we're underway. And sale deals. That one finds the corner. And it's one and one. Sanker catches the zone at the knees. Singing the Red Sox won the World Series in 2018 in five games. And Chris Sale, normally a starter, ended up coming out of the bullpen. He recorded the final three outs. He struck out the side to finish things off. You and I called that game together. Yes, we did. It was a whole lot of fun. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Oh, he just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. That's in there. And that's strike one. Chris, back in the day, they called Sean Casey the mayor. I think today's version of the mayor the chattiest first baseman would be Freddie Freeman. Sale ready. And it's even up. It's in and out of his glove. But plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. The catcher will and up to the plate is Will Smith. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And a strike in there. Sale delivers. And that one almost got him. And a 2-1 hammered but foul. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And now it's three and two. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Sale looking for that shutdown inning. Stays alive. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. Dodgers down in order. Now the Red Sox will get their shot. No score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Fenway Park and towing the slab here, Bobby Miller. Singy, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just 
know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind him. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile off. environment. Well, no, so off. when you have a player like no this on your team field. that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. Alex Verdugo stands in here, takes ball one low. And the 1 0. On the ground, right side. And he can't come up with it. Man aboard, and here is Devers. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Verdugo gets his lead at first with nobody out. Two balls, no strikes to count. Slides, but he can't come up with it. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day. A nice job of turning that one around. So now Turner in on that right side. And the first oh. pitch misses for ball one. one ball. Singy, okay. maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. Now this is in the air down the line. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. That one is absolutely belted back there. That one hops against the fence. One runs in. Now a second crosses the plate, and they lead by two. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Now batting Tristan Casas. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. That one pushed foul. Red Sox already leading. Going to count oh. one and two. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there. And he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Adam Duvall at the plate. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. In the air, out towards left center. Peralta moving under it. And he makes the catch. Two away down. That exists. That exists. Not shortstop. Sure Trevor Here's Trevor Story now. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. 
But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Back after this on the show. Back here at Fenway, Max Muncy at the dish. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Clyde Washington with home plate duties in this one. A little bit of a low zone boob from Clyde. Nothing crazy, though. Pitchers that work consistently down around the knees and are able to command their off-speed stuff tend to have some pretty good success with him back there behind the plate. One of the things you see every once in a while with a special talent is a guy who gets to the big league super fast. Chris Sale falls into that category. 13th overall pick. In 20, could be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. He got that front foot down, and pitch recognition was on point. Pretty impressive for an 0-2 count. David Peralta at the plate. There's a strike. Well, just a freak on the mound, and that delivery, something that people thought would cause injury for him early in his career, didn't. He started experience later on, but uh, no surprise that his favorite player growing up was Randy Johnson. Yeah, the lefty with the 0-1. Swings through that one for strike two. Next pitch oh, just oh. misses. Yeah, the count one and two. It's a good take. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Muncie leads off second with nobody out. Pops it up as he checks his swing. Under it is Justin Turner to make the catch. And there's one down. Here's Jason Hayward. First offering, and it just misses. This one high in the air to left center. Duvall makes the catch. And there are two outs. That is, that is, that is. The center field, number 33, James Outman. And up next for Los Angeles, James Outman. First offering misses the mark. What a no. Swings through that. Benny really sells the changeup with that arm action. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. Got him swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. So the Dodgers leave one. They trail it here, 2-0. Back 
now at Fenway. And here is Willier Abreu. No left fielder. Willier. A wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss. Blew it by him at 99. That one missed. Line drive, base hit. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it in the center for the knock. Those always feel good. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Pablo Reyes stands in. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Right-hander kicks deals. Runner on the goal. Throw to second. Ow! Usually when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense, try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. The wind and the pitch. Next offering is outside. Inside, just missed. One down, base is empty. There's the strike. Okay. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Payoff pitch. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. Lifted in the air down the left side. That gets down for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Man, that was a pretty good battle to play. And I'll that tell you, it feels pretty good as a hitter good. when you grind out a hit like that. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for the base hit. Yeah, the batter now, Connor Wong. Ball one, no strikes. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Tag. And they got him. Well, I think that was a hit and run right there. When you look at how far that pitch was out of the zone and the hitter still trying to put wood on it, put it in play, that tells you that they had something going. But unfortunately, it was a good job of execution by the pitcher and the catcher to get that out of the zone and then throw out the runner at second base. Really nice job behind the dish. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The wind of the pitch. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Pitch was on the outside, no didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Here's Alex Verdugo. Reached on an infield single his first time. Check on the runner. Back in safe. Really close. In there for strike one. Wong leads off first with two down to the inning. 
That's a strike, and it's 0-2. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Throw to first, and he's back in safely. Here's the 0-2. Missed inside with the curve. And that's outside. Two balls, two strikes. Throw over to first, and he's back in there. That's ripped. Base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. The throw in. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two-out double, second and third now. Just so sound in his mechanics. It's against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. Singled and scored his first time. That's in there. That's strike one. Chris, you ready for a nugget? Ready. Rafael Devers homered in three straight games against the Yankees before he turned 21. The only other player to do that, Babe Ruth. And the right-hander deals. And downstairs. Ground ball right side. Bush. Tosses to first. And Devers is set down. And that'll do it. So they strand a pair. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Red Sox two. And the Dodgers nothing. Back in Boston. All set for the start of the inning. And now the rookie second baseman, Michael Bush. Bush. The pitch. There's a strike. Not what he's looking for there in the OO Cal. Looks like he wants the ball down in his own. Next pitch misses way outside. Kicks and deals. And a count one and two. And a pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. Check swing, now an appeal to third. And Ed Drummond right on it, says he held up. Next pitch inside, and the count's full. Battling here as he fouls it away. Got him. One gone here. This guy will throw any pitch at any count. 3 2. He goes off speed, gets the out. The shortstop. Miguel. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Rojas, 34-year-old vet, and he was born in Venezuela. Now the one Swing and a miss and a changeup in the dirt. Line drive, makes the grab for the second out. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Here's Mookie now. Went down on strikes his first time through. In there and it's 0-1. One strike. And a foul ball. Oh. 
Oh, 2 now. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. Dodgers go down quietly. They're still down. It's 2 zip. Set for the bottom of the third. Joe stepping in for Boston. Justin Turner. Third baseman. Justin Turner. And the right hander back to work. There's the strike. Now one, one and one. one Righty delivers. Check swing. Went around. And a count right. one and two. Swing and he breaks his back. And a foul ball. The one two. And another ball. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Next offering is down low. Counts full three and two. Struck him out swinging. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. I love to see guys compete, and I know he's no, frustrated no, no. that he wasn't we're able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity, and it is hard to catch up to. Casas batting with one down, takes a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch, and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger, and perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Left hand batter waits. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Outman under it. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. The bat. The, the center field. field. Adam Duvall up next for the Red Sox. Duvall. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Duvall in his seventh season hitting fifth in today's lineup. And he's a former National League Gold Glover. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. A towering home run. Home run number 15 on the year. It's 3 0. Well, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair. When you're out in front on a breaking ball like that, such a good chance that it's going to hook foul. But not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul pole. Here's Trevor Story. First and pitch doesn't up. find the zone. We always talk about connections, kids growing up with one another. Trevor Story grew up playing in Texas on the same travel ball team as Josh Bell. And now no. two and nothing. Miller Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. The 2-1. Fought off foul. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher... Got him looking, and that is that. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now 3-0. Back here in Boston, John Chomby with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Freddie Freeman. Freeman.
and the pitch. They say you win. The next offering misses and one and one. You know, Singy, they talk about Red Sox Nation, but there is something to that because the Boston Red Sox aren't just about Boston or Massachusetts. It's that whole New England area. So you're talking about Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Northern Connecticut. There's a whole segment of the country that is locked in on the Boston Red Sox pitch to pitch throughout the summer. And a swing and a miss, one away. Thought it was a pretty good pitch, top of the strike now, zone. Now, We're now. seeing more <laughs> fastballs yeah. in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Smith, the batter Come now, on. as he one swings strike. and misses for strike one. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. Okay. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 2 now. Fights it off, he'll see another. Next pitch is downstairs. Excellent arm action on that two strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. Fouls it off, still one and two. And he deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. And a pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. Kicks and fires. Two balls, two strikes. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. 2-2 two -two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these guys are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy, doubled in his first A.B. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. Oh. This one chopped to first, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. Left hand hitter waits. Hot shot to first base and he snags it to end the inning. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They trail it here, three nothing. Back here in Boston, bottom of the fourth, here's the left fielder, Willier Abreu. What about the fans oh, at Fenway? Here. Would they let you have it from time to time? They're definitely intelligent nope, baseball like fans, which is awesome. They're not waiting for something to happen. They can smell a big inning or anticipate. Here comes a pitch. Up and oh. in. Now two balls and a strike. One thing I found that was very cool was making a great play to end the inning and running off the field and getting a standing ovation even at times when you're not a player on their team. As long as you're not winning, they will celebrate and applaud a great play on the field. These fans here, they love and respect baseball. And here's a 3-2. Up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Well, I'm impressed with this guy's internal clock. He knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure his grip on the baseball, and make a strong, accurate throw.
Pablo Reyes up next for the Red Sox. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. And now the count is even. On the mound, he's got to remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. Muncie, jump throw. Already two gone here in the home floor. Now got it. Catcher. My goodness, Chris. He had to generate a ton of power in that jump throw for the out. Let's take another look and dive into the numbers from StatCast. Man, that's an impressive throw right there. In the air, all the way from third base. You've got to have a powerful arm to play third base, but he just showed he's got more than enough. He's got to can it. Digging in, Connor Wong. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Righty to the plate. That one missing inside. Oh, that two-seam fastball is a great pitch from a right-hander to a right-handed batter. Just really teases the inside part of the plate, runs in on the hands. Way out front for strike two. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Face hit. He puts it in his pocket, safe at first without a play. Well, we don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Alex Verdugo up next for the Red Sox. Miller picks over. Oh, we got it. They say you win. Go ball. One strike. Wong off of first with two away. Pickoff throw. And he dives back in safely. Back over to first. And he's back again. Back to first. And no luck this time either. The 0 1. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. And the Red Sox leave one, but they lead it 3 0. New inning getting started. Now the left fielder, David Peralta. David Peralta. And a pitch. This one in the air center field. Duvall makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Now battle. The right fielder. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Jason Hayward. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. That one close, ruled a ball. And now 2-0. There's a strike. The pitch. That one ripped, but foul. And now two and two. On the ground right side. On to first. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. Two outs, base is empty. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. 
struck out swinging his first time. And a foul ball left side. Next offering is downstairs. One ball, one strike. The one one is fouled off. One and two now. Sail back to work. And there's a ball. Good eye right there. Three balls, two strike. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. Three and two, payoff pitch. Bows that off to the left and we'll do it again. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Out towards right center field. Duvall makes the catch. And that is that. So they've been held scoreless through five. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Red Sox three and the Dodgers nothing. And we're back here at Fenway Leading Park. Off. Bottom of the Florida, inning. Red here now the Red Sox DH. Rafael Raphael Devers. Devers. Rafael Devers, part of that 2018 team that won it all, but over the past couple of years, he has really turned into one of the top hitters, certainly one of the top left-handed hitters in the American League. Next offering is fouled back. Yeah, and his ability to handle pitches as well outside the zone on the fringes, just impressive. I never, will never forget the night that he hit a home run off of Aroldis Chapman slightly above the top of the strike zone and just clobbered it to left center field. Yeah, that pitch was over 100 miles an hour from Chapman, and he raked it out of the ballpark. And that one hammered. That's back. And that one is off the top of the wall. And he makes it into third with a leadoff triple. Well, oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Bobby Miller departs, and he's not going to be happy with himself. New pitcher on the mound in a moment. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Gus Barlin. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep them within striking distance. Barlin. Turner climbs in on that right side. That one is blasted. Left field towards the monster. Banks off the wall. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. So here's Boston's cleanup hitter, Tristan Casas. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Runner at first with no outs here. And now it's even up. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Ryan Brazier, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Yarbrough, the lefty, warming up as well.
One two. On a line, base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Love how he let that ball travel. Oh, no. Trusted his hands. Nice no, job of it on the other way. Adam. Duvall. Stepping in the long ball threat, Adam Duvall. Coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation. You know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Slider clips the zone. This is an opportunity to do some damage, but you've got to be selective. Make sure you get a pitch that you can handle. Right-handed reliever. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Next offering misses, and that's ball one. Outside. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Well, he hadn't seen that change up the entire at bat until that put away pitch. And it's pretty tough to deal with as a hitter. You're up there battling, trying to read and react with two strikes. And then all of a sudden, a pitch comes out of nowhere. And it's a good change up. It's just almost impossible to hit it when you haven't seen it. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. First pitch just misses. Right hander kicks deals. So two balls and no strikes. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. That one missed, now three and oh. And he takes a strike. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. Next offering finds the zone of the count is full. Turner, the lead runner out at second. Casas over at first, so going away. And it's Take ball it four. He missed down low. Now bad. No left fielder. Bases loaded with one away. Here's the left fielder, Willier Abreu. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. At the belt and fires. Just missed. One ball. Base is loaded. One away. Strike two. Well, he went inside a couple of times and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. Next one ball. is off the plate. Two and two. Good miss with that change up away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here on the hitter's side. Nice job of laying off that pitch. Comes a 2 2. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. You usually are going to see that inside fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite side, but that pitch really got in on him right there. I mean, that's a well-thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. 
Next to hit, Pablo Reyes. First pitch, and he just misses. High fly ball out to center field. Outman makes the play, and that's the inning. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. Five innings complete. The Red Sox four, and the Dodgers nothing. And welcome back. Here's the second baseman, Michael Bush. Michael. These two offenses can put up runs in a hurry. Sale back to work. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Next offering is fouled back. Well, a big lead like this is comfortable many times, but not when these two teams are matching up. You've got to continue to keep your head down, play catch with that catcher, and just try to move through this lineup. 0-2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. And it's even up. That's down and in. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Payoff pitch. The other way, base hit. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Miguel Rojas, the next to hit. 0 for 1 so far. And that's in there for strike one. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. The pitch. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. Kick San Dios. And it goes just foul. And the 0-2. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. The pitch. Misses oh. inside. It's a ball and two strikes. Liner, base hit. Nice line now drive to the pole side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. And now it's Mookie Betts. His home and away splits there. Swing and a base hit. Bush around third. Now a long throw home. And he's in there as a run scores. Well done. Narrows the deficit with the RBI there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. 
allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And that one missing low. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. One to know to Freddie Freeman. Ball two. two balls, no strikes. Rojas, the lead runner at second. Betts on at first with nobody out. Now 3 and 0. Oh. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Checks his swing. Now an appeal to third. And he won around. Just enough that time. On the ground to first. Over to Story for one. On to first in time. Double play. That was a much needed double play right there. It gives him a really good shot at minimizing any further damage in this inning. The batter now will be Will Smith. So right-handed slugger at the plate. Chrissy is surprised that the lefty is still in there. Extremely. I mean, you've got arms down in the bullpen, and there's somebody down there that can match up, try to get out of this jam. And first offering is fouled off. And now the lefty fouled back our way, and that's out of play. Two outs and one in scoring position. To the right side. Base hit and a run comes in. Back against the wall with two strikes but found a way. I love that swing and I'm sure his hitting coach does even more. Took a pitch right on the low outside corner of the zone and just ripped it for a base hit. And that's easier said than done. Here comes the skipper and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. That does it for Chris Sale as the lefty makes way. And as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Nick Pavetta comes on now. And he's had a struggle so far this year as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down a little bit right here. Two outs, runner at first. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Max Muncy. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. And the right hander deals. Swing and a foul straight back. Next one misses, and it's one and two. Swing and a miss, and that is that. So two runs in the inning, four hits, no errors, and one left on. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. The Red Sox four, and the Dodgers two. Bottom of the six. And now it's the catcher for the Red Sox, Connor Wong. And here it comes. That one the other way. That's a base hit. Waste no time there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. So the Red Sox lineup turns over and stepping in for Boston. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Cut on and miss. Throw to second. He's safe.
No outs. Runner on second. Swing and a miss. 0-2 oh, now. Action in the pen down there. Ryan Brazier looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Runner leads away at second. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The pitch. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Next pitch misses. The count now two and two. And he deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. That's the third. Muncy slings it across, and Verdugo is set down. Well, he didn't recognize changeup oh, earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, no, rolled no, over no, on no. it, and beat it into the ground. No, no, no. Now it's yeah, Devers no, no. at the plate. Right, Clips oh. the corner. That's strike one. Runner at second here, one gone. Take it deep. Check swing, and that's a ball. One and one. The one one. Good eye right Two there. Two balls, one strike. The pitch. That one fouled off. Two and two. One out and a runner at second. Next pitch misses inside. And it's three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Set down on strikes. Fastball to letters froze him for strike three. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's an at bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Here's Justin Turner. In there for strike one. They say you win. And the righty deals. Just no. misses with that one. And that's awfully one close. I don't know He's how great. you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And foul oh. ball. Runner at second, two down. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. In the air, right field, and it drops in. The run comes in to score from second. It's 5-2. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Pretty good fastball location. Down and in on the corner, but that was just a nice job to handle it and hit it hard. Very tough spot to get the barrel to most of the time, though. Runner at first with two away. Tristan Casas up next for the Red Sox. Check swing. Went around. 1-1.
Turner off of first with two away. Next offering is in for a strike. Ball one there. The one two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 5-2. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Top of inning number seven. And now David Peralta. The Dodgers in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. The wind of the pitch. And it's one and one. One ball, one strike. Bounce to the right. Can't glove it cleanly. But the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first down. Jason Hayward will hit next. Pitch misses outside, and that's ball one. Kicks and fires. That one is upstairs. Swing and a miss. And a count two and one. And a pitch. And fouled off. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Now Just a low that. 90s fastball. And I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much oh, what right. happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Outman in now. Takes ball one off one the plate. Okay. Boston's bullpen with some activity. Kenley Jansen, the anchor of the staff, is getting ready to close this one out. Two outs. And yeah, that's outside. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Righty delivers. On the ground, right side, Reyes fires to first on the run. That's the third out. Dodgers down in order, and the deficit remains 5-2. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound, Ryan Brazier. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. To the batter now, Adam Duvall. And a pitch. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. That's one of those lookout pitches. As soon as it leaves the pitcher's hand, you start bracing for impact, knowing that it's going to be hard to get out of the way of that one. Story at the plate and takes high there. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next offering is in for a strike. 
Well, what that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Riding to the plate. On the ground, could be two. Bush. Feed to second, oh. that's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. At the play, will your Abreu? First offering, and it just misses. Story leads off first with one away. In the air, left field, down the line. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. Out number two. The batter number 19, second baseman, Pablo. Man at first, and next for the Red Sox, Pablo Reyes. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Brazier over to first. Story back into the dive. Another throw over, and they're keeping him close. Right-handed reliever. It's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. The one-one is fouled off. One two, and oh, a ball fuck. evens the count. Ooh, I thought he'd bite right there. Story on the move, swing and a miss, struck him out. That is the inning. One left for the Red Sox, and it remains five two. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Chris Martin. And if you dig into his walk rate, his numbers are really impressive. He's really filled up the strike zone this season, so these guys better be ready to swing the bats. So digging in, Michael Bush. The second base. Michael. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. There's a strike. He swings and fouls one off. Oh, and two now. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Miguel Rojas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And that's oh, off the inside edge. One and oh. Now fly ball to right center. Verdugo gets under it. One down. Now back, designated hitter, Luke Bet. So the lineup flips over. Now it's going to be Mookie Betts. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Here's your one. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. And the runner stays where he is. 
and a 1-1. Just oh. off the outside part of the plate. And now it's even up. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Next one is off the play, and the count is filled up. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. That one down the line, and that's just foul. 3-2. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Duvall raging back towards the wall. And he goes airborne to make the catch. And here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Here's a run scoring opportunity. You definitely got to push something across because it's not going to get any easier. You get to the ninth, you get a lockdown closer ready to come in. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. Line drive, base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. So two on with two away. And here's the catcher, Will Smith. And fires in a fastball at 95. Well, they say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. Gives a little bit more confidence to move through the at bat. Kicks and deals. Bush at second. Freeman at first. Two out of the inning. On the ground to the left. They take the force out. That ends the frame. Dodgers strand a couple. They trail at 5-2. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Alex Vesia. He's got some of the best swing and miss stuff going right now. He's striking out hitters at a very high rate this year. So this should be fun to watch. Here's the catcher to hit, Leading Connor Wong. For the Red Sox. Red Sox. The catcher. The Connor Wong. The pitch. And ball one. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. Next pitch and is outside. Ball. Misses with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. That one misses, so a leadoff walk. Yeah, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches, and the leadoff batter's on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a cold strike before he takes the bat off his shoulder. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Alex Verdugo. Step off throw to first, and he's back in standing. On, and that's a strike. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Victor Gonzalez, the left-hander, up and throwing. The pitch. And that one wrapped foul. The 0 2. And that's one downstairs ball. and outside. This is off the inside. Now 2 and 2.
and a pitch. He goes down looking. Rafael Devers up to him. First pitch, not close. And that one clips the corner. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. Next offering is in for a strike. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Pitch out, but no action. The lefty, the 1 0. Oh. And strike two. One ball, two straight. Step off, throw to first, and he dives back in safely. Pitch misses there. Two balls, two strikes. And that one a little bit high. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Three and two now. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Peralta makes the play, and it's out number three. And the Red Sox leave one. They're still out in front, 5 2. on here save opportunity for him right here and he's their guy time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W and now it's Max Muncy he is very much your typical power hitter I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. And here it comes. And that one is inside. Jansen, the tall righty. He throws a cutter, a two-seamer, and he works in a slider. The 1-0. -oh. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Here's a 1-1. And a foul ball. Next pitch inside. And the count is 2-2. Two two. Right-hander kicks deals. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Under it is Justin Turner to make the catch. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. And next for L.A., David Peralta.
Pitch is in there. Strike one. And the right-hander deals. And that one pulled foul. Here's the 0-2. Peralta tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. He did not go around. And a 1-2. Out to short. Whips it to Casas. And they're down to their last out. And up next for Los Angeles, Jason Hayward. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Left-hand hitter waits. In there at the knees, and a count one and one. At the belt and fires. That misses the zone, two and one. Two down, nobody on. In the air, out to center. Duvall settles underneath it, and that'll do it. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And your final score, 5-2. Kenley Jansen picking up the save. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.